John Shields, our guest, he is the former head of the BCGEU. He was a priest before that, and now he is an evolved male, <laughs> I'd say. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So take me from, so union um, uh, job done, mm -hmm. then what? What happened, uh, <clears throat> my, uh, my wife of 30 some odd years uh, contracted uh, lymphoma. Mm, Madeline. Madeline. And uh, I really, there's nothing more important than being true to, to my calling to her to take care of her. So I, I left the, I stepped out of the presidency, went home, and, <clears throat> and started to become a caregiver. And in, in the process of accompanying her to the end of her life, uh, the, um, the acuteness of the void that I had been experiencing, mm. the, the hollowness in my mm -hmm. spirit, uh, became more achingly present. Sure. And some hollowness in your marriage, and you candidly write about that in yeah. here, that you had a, a wonderful relationship, but, but, but not necessarily a sexual relationship yeah, in yeah. your marriage. Yeah, yeah. It was, it was, it started with friendship. It, uh, it was a, a, a tight bond, mm -hmm. uh, a loving bond, but not a physical right. fulfillment and process. And, <clears throat> and make choices about that too, and right. um, decided to stay in the in, in the relationship and to to give it as much as of, of myself as I as I mm -hmm. call for. And but in love that. with another woman yes, and yeah, yeah, shared yeah, that, yeah. and uh, whose journey hasn't included some of that mm -hmm. from the young mm -hmm. and the restless on. But yeah, inner yeah. impulses and the things we do mm -hmm. and. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're yeah. not always on the faithful path. I, I had uh, had some real misgivings. I went to visit Madeline's brother and sister-in-law mm -hmm. uh, just last weekend, and uh, asked them. They had wanted to read the book. I said, you know, how, how did it seem to you? And they said, in this family, that's a kind of mild story. Really? <laughs> said, that's no, relieving. Nobody was surprised by that. Well, my family too. There's, uh, uh, you know, many characters, and in most families, yeah, like yeah. we could put the doily over it, but it's so not so. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So, uh, today, where are you today about where we come from, who we are, mm. who's up there, who's not up there? Well, I saw a picture uh, from NASA, the American Space Agency. Mm which was an image of the birth of the universe. And when I saw that, it, you know, all kinds of lights went on. It, it hasn't always been static. It hasn't always been as we, as we know it. <clears throat> that what this image showed was that the universe was, was, came into existence and has evolved. And, and so I got fascinated with the science and absolutely read everything I could understand. Mm -hmm. I'm not a scientist, but I, you know, more mm -hmm. of a philosopher, a theologian. And what I discovered was the universe is a single event. It's an energy unfolding. It's an evolving process that it comes, as, as some say, it, it starts in, the universe starts in consciousness, becomes an energy outflow, and, and materiality comes, it gets evolved from that. And so, it, and if that's so, it shattered all my my past understanding of uh, our material world. Mm -hmm. It's not just stuff. It's not just always. And around. do some of your friends, uh, perhaps your ex friends, think you've lost your mind? Uh, they get curious. I mean, I, th I think you know, it, 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 there's not enough information mm -hmm. about the new science or the new story right. yet. Uh, yes. But when when I when I get into it with them, they get really curious about how, where did all this come from? How did how did you get to understand? Sure. That? Did and, one yeah. incident shake you to your core? Was there someone you read? Uh, one day you had an aha, and mm -hmm. you thought, you know what, this makes sense to me. There, uh -huh. there were masters. They had great ideas. Yeah, yeah. They shared their great ideas. But we are <laughs> really uh, made from stars. <laughs> We're stardust. Absolutely. Kids. I mean, that's 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 not just a metaphor. That's that's the, that's mm -hmm. the actual reality of, of where where life comes from as an exploding star. Uh, yeah, there was a guy uh, by the name of Brian Swim, mm. uh, who's a cosmologist based in California, and he came to Victoria in the early '90s uh, to give a talk. Uh, and when I heard what he was saying, the scientists now know about the universe. It, 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 it just grabbed me. Mm -hmm. uh, I was so curious. Uh, and I, at first I was interested in the science, and then I, I began to be understand that, the, that the, behind the science is that whole story of meaning. 
that really took over, and I, uh, that's, that's what right. put me on the direction. Mm. It's not New on. Age. Not at all. No. It's, it's, it's hard science. Yeah, I've talked to the physicists, a couple of them, the yes, particle yes, physicists, yes. Uh, the Woody Allen of physics, in <laughs> you, fact. You had somebody on your show just a couple of weeks ago. Yes, and, uh, and then Deepak Chopra has come together with another physicist, mm -hmm. and they've talked about mm -hmm. uh, how it's something from nothing. Yes, we all come yes, from nothing, something, it's yes. something from yeah. nothing, and yet we are all connected to one another. That is the spark. It's We're all part of the universe. We come, we go. We're not going to get out yeah, of that yeah, death thing. Yeah, exactly. I mean, the universe is one, and and everything is interconnected. Mm -hmm. There's no standalone. There's no isolated pieces. There's nothing, and we're not here accidentally. We're part of an evolving process, and, and in the universe is right. having us in this moment because there's only something that mm -hmm. we can contribute to its unfolding. Well, you, uh, I know, had a tour with one Jack Monroe. Oh, I did. <laughs> <laughs> who is a, uh, a big uh, labor logging yeah, yeah, guy. Yeah, Jack, Jack and I are old buddies. Well, and I'm an old buddy, and, too. And, and adversaries. We've kind of, sure. we're on and different sides. Sure, and he took you into them. the woods yes, he did. to say, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. we own these trees <laughs> and we're going to cut them down <laughs> and that's how it is yeah, and forget yeah, about yeah, that yeah, owl. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and he evolved, too. Yeah, he did. He got to yeah. the point where some trees are sacred and you don't haul a yeah. big Douglas fir across that trout stream. Yeah. But they were, they were in this old, um, old mythology. There's the story that nothing has value until humans mm -hmm. cut it down. The trees are, are down, only valuable. It, when we make it into boards, then, then the tree has value. Otherwise, just standing in the woods, no value at all. Mm. I thought, that doesn't make sense. You know, if, 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 well, especially if there's now. A, if there's a sacredness of the universe, it's in, mm. in the propagation of life. Find, struggle, the universe, is, uh, Earth, is struggling to stay alive. And I think it's giving, this, this is probably a little bit way out, but I believe all of this information is coming from the universe to help us save the Earth. I do too, believe it or not, because the aboriginals and the elders, and I know you've dealt with uh, many chiefs, and, mm -hmm. and they will say, from the smallest grain of sand to the great whale, uh, we are all part of yeah, this. So mm -hmm. get it, I even save ants, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know. Mm -hmm. I try to, in the little Kleenex, <laughs> put them out the door, yeah, yeah, you know, rather yeah. than squash them. Mm -hmm. My grandson mm -hmm. squashes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, no, it's, uh, mm -hmm. it's, a rever it's a restoration of a sense of the sacred. Right. So, and do you still pray? Do you, when you have a mm -hmm. tag day, mm -hmm. where do you go? Well, my, my, uh, my father in law has just had a stroke. And, I, and so I was just facing this question what does prayer mean? Mm -hmm. uh, and so I, the other day, uh, I was walking along. And I said, I, I, "I need, I need to s say something for him," and I, I, I don't believe that there's an interventionist deity who's going to make it better or worse. Mm -hmm. But I do believe that, as as one with the universe, I am a creative force. Okay, collective power of thought. thought and I am that. that I, I am. am. And send him the healing energy capacity that I can co-create in this moment mm. to make his way a little easier. You dedicated this book to Robin and Nikki. Mm -hmm. Robin, Robin is, is? is is my present wife. Uh, we remarried about six. Uh, we remarried six years ago, uh, and Nikki is her 26-year-old daughter, mm. a student at, uh, at university in women's studies and environmental studies, and getting straight A's. And the love of my life. I got the experience of being a father late in my life, mm -hmm. but to her delight, <laughs> my delight in her, mm -hmm. uh, she has embraced me as her dad. <laughs> so what would you like us to take away, the nugget you'd like us to take away uh, uh, from your story, which mm -hmm. is a passionate story, but the pillar of your mm -hmm. spirituality is essentially mm -hmm. what? We are all one. Uh, we are one with the one. Inner and outer. Inner and outer, and that everything that we do has meaning, has significance, is important. There's no throwaway lines. There's no idle gestures. We are in the process of co-creating the universe. And you continue to do that because I know you work tirelessly for women's rights, for civil mm -hmm. rights, did, for yes, human yeah, rights, yeah. all of that. Yes. How oh, nice to meet you. I Thank bet your old delight. union buddies have no idea. <laughs> did they know you were a priest? They, uh, it, I didn't make much of it. Uh, some no. did, some didn't. Because uh, I'm sure I interviewed you yeah. many times uh, yeah, in the yeah. olden <laughs> days on the radio <laughs> yes. when you were yeah. uh, well, that, much that, I, Yeah, that's true. I mean, I, I, when, when I saw you, I recognized you from television. Mm -hmm. But when we talked in the, in the green room about sure. where you were, we, we did. We talked. You bet. <laughs> Thank you.
Uh, John Shields, the priest who left his religion.